Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the bounding box to help you in three different situations. One of the situations where I find this trick pretty useful is, for example, where I want to contour some irregular shapes, where the bottom and the top of the combined shape or single shape is not easy to select. So, for example, with this sphere, the top of this sphere doesn't really have any curve to snap onto. It's just got the creation of this sphere. So I'm going to merge these together into a single union. And you can see we have this compound object. Now I'm going to do the, the bounding box command. And for me, that is a shortcut of Control Alt B. I'm going to output it as a solid, and I'm going to use a current construction plane for that box to be created. So I'm just going to press spacebar, and there you have it. So now I've got the bounds of this compound object. Now I can easily contour it. and it will ask for the base point and the direction perpendicular to contour planes. So I'm gonna set that at the top point and now it's asking the distance between contours, 10 is okay, press space, and you can see that it's very easily created the contours between the Z bounds of this compound object. Often, I want to find the Z elevation difference between two random points and I think that this is the quickest way that I've found. I'll create a polyline and let's say it was just a random point here and I want to find the Z elevation difference to say this point. I'll create that polyline, select it and bounding box. And this line here, this edge here, represents the vertical elevation between those two points, which so happens to be 193.33 mils. The final tip I want to show you with the bounding box is how you can create a new box from an existing selection. So for example, let's say these are two solid elements and I wanted to create a rectangle which fits between the edges of these elements. So what I can do is I can simply select that edge. Let's just do all of the edges for now. And now I'll do the bounding box command again. And there you have it. So that's a new geometry which is just based on the selection. And from there I can scale it and do whatever I wish with it. So there you have it, three quick tricks using the bounding box to save you time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. Cheers.